who just loses loses to the heart virus and the androids happen and now gohan is completely by himself and i guess we get an ultimate universe if bulma ended up with yamcha and they have kids but it's just a crazy situation because like you need vegeta in the story bro <laughs> So Dragon Ball Sparking Zero had an interesting turn of events in the trailer. And we saw seemingly Krillin out or, you know, not here no more. Because YouTube guidelines, I can't say what actually happened. And Goku stopping Uzaru Vegeta from stomping on him and turning Super Saiyan. And today I want to discuss what would happen to the Dragon Ball story and how powerful is Goku in the Saiyan Saga turning into a Super Saiyan against Uzaru Vegeta. Let's get started, man. So, one for one, I'm very excited for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And hopefully, with y'all support, make sure that like button because it helps the channel get recommended and helps the algorithm as a whole, that this is going to be one of the best Dragon Ball games of all time. Actually, put in the comment section down below, what is your favorite Dragon Ball game? Is it Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Is it Budokai Tech IG3? Is it Raging Blast? Is it Fighters, my personal favorite, or Xenoverse 2? Let me know. But it's, it's weird how, it's, it's, it's crazy how much the Dragon Ball story can change by just one what if happening. And Goku somehow, some way turning into a Super Saiyan because Vegeta, messed up and killed Krillin in front of him would change things dramatically because for one Goku's power level was 8,000 in base or above 8,000 because you know it says over 8,000 but in most uh magazines and stuff it, it says Goku's power level is 8,000 only in like the dub um mistranslated that it says it's over 9,000 and the reason why Vegeta was able to have the upper hand on Goku because Vegeta's power level at that time was 18,000. There's also the weird thing too, where if you had Kaioken um, and had Kaioken times two, which is pretty much the same thing. But the reason that Goku was able to get the upper hand because he used Kaioken times three, which was able to overwhelm Vegeta with having a power level above 18,000, which was 24,000, and then Kaioken times four to overwhelm the Gallic Gun multiplier. But when Vegeta used Uzaru, which is a 10 times multiplier, it made Vegeta go from 18,000 to 180,000. But what happens when a power level of 8,000 gets a Super Saiyan multiplier, which is 50, which is times 50 times? Yo, do you want to like more features on the channel? Check out my memberships to become an X Fighter and get videos early, custom emotes, member only videos, and more. Becoming a member helps the channel and me stay motivated to keep the dream alive to make this a full time career. Anything helps and it means a lot. Now back to the video. Switch. Oh my God, man. 400,000 is curb stomping 180,000. But. It really depends on this because if Goku wilds out and kills Vegeta, then like who goes to Namek, right? Because Krillin, he's not going to be around because you won't need him to make any Dragon Balls because he's already been killed already. So he's not going to be brought back with the Earth Dragon Balls and you need to go to Namek to resurrect everyone else. But is it going to be Goku, um, Gohan, and Bulma? And how much does not having Vegeta help because Vegeta was like one of the main ones that was able to kind of outsmart the Frieza force. And yeah, Goku has this power level of 400,000 and he can be able to train his his base. But when you're dealing with like Captain Ginyu there, then you can overpower those guys. But when you're dealing with Frieza, his power level in his regular state, um, well, his, his, well, his first form, which is not really his form, is like his suppressed form, is 530,000. So if Goku doesn't know to train his base, so he can unlock Super Saiyan, like where he can like increase his Super Saiyan abilities. He's going to be kind of screwed. But it's it's such a it's such a crazy thing, man. Because if Vegeta's gone, man, then like there's no future Trunks. And what happens, like even like for example, even if we go through this path, like okay, Captain Ginyu takes Goku's body, he gets the Zenkai boost, and he's able to beat Frieza easier without Trunks at all. Then Goku just loses loses to the heart virus. And the androids happen, and now Gohan is completely by himself. And I guess we get an ultimate universe if Bulma ended up with Yamcha and they have kids. But it's just a crazy situation because, like, you need Vegeta in the story, bro. <laughs> like, you need him to work for the story to continue. Because if we even go by best case scenario, if Vegeta was taken out, uh, 
it would just only get up to the Android arc and Goku would be hit by the heart virus because because uh, I, I don't see it where like he takes out Frieza and he doesn't go to Yardrat because we don't even know where that disease came from. If maybe it came from Yardrat, who knows? But we can also go to the other route that he still spares Vegeta and we can continue down the timeline. But Goku unlocking Super Saiyan that early, it does change things because does Goku know to train his base with that? Let me know in the comment section down below what other alternatives do you think is going to go? And then for Sparking Zero purposes, do you think they're actually going to venture like further down the timeline? I honestly think that Goku is going to turn Super Saiyan, beat down Vegeta, and probably let him go, and then maybe a little different stuff. I don't, I don't know if they're going to go further than that. They're probably have like an awesome cutscene with like Goku facing Uzaru Vegeta. I would say for one thing, Vegeta's pride is going to be cut to shreds. Because, like, Vegeta at that point in his life was not prepared for, for even Goku to even surpass him with the Kaioken. So for Goku to completely get the legendary Super Saiyan transformation and dominate Vegeta, yeah, nah, I don't think Vegeta was ever prepared for anything that to happen. But I think that's a crazy what if, man. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to discuss any more what ifs. Because Tikaichi 2 had a what if, if Raditz, um changed sides or he lost his memory and he, he was more of a good guy we even have like a what if in the trailer where you have um uh the vegeta and future trunks using father son final flash to overpower per perfect cell or in the um the trailers it actually kind of showed a statue of ultra and goku versus broly so let me know in the comment section down below if you want a video discussing ultra and goku versus broly but as i stated here i think that it will be a stomp to say the least, but it really depends on if you take out Vegeta. If you take out Vegeta, then there's no future trunks. There's no time traveling shenanigans. And even if Goku is able to like get a Zenkai boost, get the whole power up he needs to take on Final Form Frieza, his timeline ends with after defeating Mecha Frieza and King Cold and losing to the heart virus. And then the Andrews kind of take over the planet because Gohan by himself, without Goku's training, is not taking out those androids, and especially without future trucks to be able to go back in time, and et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> this has been a fun time. Yeah. Watch the entire video and then hit that like button. Hit that like button and hit the subscribe and get turn on all notifications. Every time you hit the like button, it helps the video get recommended and helps the video grow and helps me stay motivated. So you want more videos and want more videos to come out, make sure that like button, subscribe and share it. Please, I need it. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless. Son, teach out. Peace. Love you all.